Yeah, honestly, this is the worst Souls PvP game so far by a long shot. Like, this Bloodhound step completely destroys this game entirely. Like, it completely destroys PvP. It makes no sense. Like, it, it makes no sense why they would put that in the game. Like, just press immortality like that. It's it's not like it's worse than spamming like roll because spamming roll you, you have a good bit of of downtime where you can get caught. Spamming bloodhound step is 94% iframe. You just had a little bit of latency to that and it's absolutely complete invincibility. And that's granted the distance on top of it, like the distance that you travel with it too. Since it's faster than sprinting, you can't even outrun it anyway. Like, the only way, like, to kill someone that doesn't want to get killed like that is to run them out of blue juice. That's really the only conceivable way to do it. Just look at that. You can just, like, completely brain dead list. It's so brain dead. Like, honestly, I just... I can't get over it how stupid this is and why... Why they even did that. It makes no sense. was out of blue there couldn't bloodhound step so we killed him amazing <clears throat> it's so stupid you think the best nerf might be increasing the downtime dude the best nerf is to fucking remove that shit it has no business in the game it's completely stupid it has zero business being in this game in the first place like, it doesn't matter if it's PvE or PvP, this shit has no business in the game. It completely destroys the whole purpose of the game. You know when you fight a boss, right? When you fight a boss, or anything, when you fight any enemy, like, the whole idea is that, imagine, like, this uh, side of grace here is my enemy. The idea is when my enemy attacks, you either get some decent distance to, uh, like, uh, to punish the attack, or you time it properly. To then punish the attack, right? Or punish the, the missed attack. Like the idea, like the idea, the base of the game, everything like gameplay wise on this game revolves around spacing, like the distance between you and your target, yet your management of, of the distance and your timing, like how you time your dodges and how you time your attacks. Bloodhound step throws both of these things out of the window. It makes it makes it so that you don't have to gauge any distance because it travels so damn far that you don't have to worry about any distance. And it gives you so much iframe that when you spam it, you don't even need to time anything because it just has so many iframes that... I mean, you really don't have to time anything. There's no timing to it. So the fact that this is in the game in the first place is baffling. Like, whoever made that call to get that shit in the game, like really did not understand like anything at all even if bloodhound step is only usable on claw shiriko that would still be an issue because you have an offhand weapon like the what you'd be doing is basically you'd be buffing mages because now you'd have all the mage like you'd have all the mages or whatever casters like like this just gonna be bloodhound step spam like always but they're gonna have a catalyst on the offense, so you're not really fixing the issue by just having it on the claw. Like, you're really not. Oh, it's the same guy. Yeah, honestly, I, I don't even want to bother. What a waste of time. Let's just change area. I'm gonna fucking run that guy out of Bloodhound Step again. You'd like to make it cost HP idea? You know, the greatest idea is to remove it from the game, but like if you want to keep it, you need to heavily nerf it. You need to nerf the iframes, you need to nerf the distance, and you need to nerf the HP or the uh, the FP cost. You need to nerf all these three things if you want to keep it into the game, but the best case scenario is to just completely scrap the damn thing. Oh, he's still up there. Oh! <gasps> All that made them come out. Careful about the mage up there. Oh, he has Bloodhound step. Why am I even bothering? 
Alright, let's play like that too. Like everyone has it. It's so stupid, like, you don't need to worry about anything. You can just fucking go in between everything, you know, go in and out. You don't have to think. Just press, just press the same button. Look at that. Just stay in them. Look how meme this fucking game is. Oh, we took a bit of damage here. I think I need to press a bit harder. Okay, let's regen our stamina a little bit. We broke his tear. This is the memeiest game, like, of any Souls games for sure. Like, we're gonna have to kind of drain him out of Bloodhound Step before doing any damage to him. And that's the case with all these players. They're all, like, crutching on that shit because you don't need to know how to roll. Because if they try to do anything else but Bloodhound Step, they die. You don't need to learn much, really, with Bloodhound Step because it's... It's invincibility. You press it and you just keep pressing it and you cannot be touched until you let go of it. It's like, you know, when you roll, you're invincible for like just a few frames. Like it gives you iframes, invincibility frames for like a, just a few frames. And at the end of the roll, you can get caught and punished, which is how we're punishing these people and we're, we're roll catching them. That's how we're doing it because rolling is not perfect. You have to time your rolls. The Bloodhound step, though, it doesn't matter. It's not just the distance. It's 94% iframes plus the crazy amount of distance. And so as long as someone is pressing that blood step button, as long as they're pressing it, they can't die. And so they have that amount of FP, of FP bar. And if they invested more, they have even more of it. Until that bar is emptied... I can decide to not die if I want to just by spamming that. It's basically an invincibility button that works on an FP bar. That's really what it is. It's what's killing the game. Like that's my that would be my number one priority for fixing this game would be to get rid of Bloodhound Step. That'd be my number one priority for sure. That just breaks PvP entirely. It fundamentally breaks everything because you know the whole the whole premise of these games is to time your roles. That's how you beat bosses, that's how you beat enemies, that's how you go through the game, beat PvE, mobs, whatever. It's not even just PvP related. Like, the premise of these games is to learn to properly time your attacks and your dodges and manage your distance with you and your opponent or your enemy or whatever you're fighting. It's really those things. And that just takes it completely away. You don't need to manage the distance because it's faster than everything else. And you don't need to manage the timing because you're invincible while you're doing it. There's really no timing to it. It just needs to cost way more FP to use. Eh, false. That's one thing, but that doesn't fix the main issue. People are still invincible while using it, even if like... Even if they double the FP consumption, or shit, even if they triple the FP consumption. Like, what do we get here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Okay, let's just say 12 because you can divide it. Okay, so like you'd get four Bloodhound Step with that. With minimum, uh, with minimum mind, you'd get four Bloodhound Step. Like, what, what are you gonna do? Like, just drink another flask. Like, I have six flasks. I'm the host right now. So, I can really just do two Bloodhound Step here. Get away from you, not attack. Do two more. And that's if they triple it, which I really don't think they're gonna do. Like, it still doesn't fix the main issue. And that's with minimum amount of mine. Like, 
keep in mind that that doesn't stop people from like leveling up mine and what about the people that play at higher level like you're only really fixing it for people that play at minimum level and even at minimum level it's still not that nerf because you can still get away with using it a lot so you like the people at high level are completely unaffected by this so you're really only fixing the game for like maybe lower level maybe if they don't have flask because if they have flask they can just drink more and rinse and repeat so yeah, I mean, the proper fix for it is to reduce the iframe, reduce the distance it travels, and of course, increase the FP cost as well. But uh, yeah, I mean, the even easier fix would be to remove it from the game, but I know that's a very unpopular decision because people l really like to crutch on it because it's so easy. So easy. Keep my fingers glued to that button. Anyway, I think we talked enough about Bloodhound Step the stream. I think, yeah. I think you guys get the point. Just remove it. Yeah, honestly, just remove it. That'd be my call. But anyway, I think that's going to be it for it for, for this stream. It looks stupid. Yeah.